Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Wednesday, the 22nd of May, 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, Outdoor Markets. To lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, we saw US equities move higher. All three major indices closing in positive territory with the Nasdaq once again hitting new highs. The Russell was the only major index that was to the downside but again that was only minimal u.s futures are trading just above neutral in asian trading asian equity markets are generally higher the nikkei slightly underperforming the asx is managing to hold on to small gains of around about 0.2 percent and u.s futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon at this stage the u.s dollar index looked as though it might have a significant bounce but didn't materialize uh, but it is still holding it above the 200 ema gold and copper are pausing near record highs both near neutral in asia today and oil edge lower and may try and support but there is the eia data out tonight which may influence price to some degree bitcoin edged higher again and any move higher from here may mean a test of record highs it's not that far away from that 73,300 record high that we hit in the recent past. And in terms of data, we've got US housing data and, of course, the FOMC minutes, both of which are noteworthy and may move markets. This afternoon, we've got UK CPI and PPI due also, which again could influence certainly the GB pound. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX, we're like in Yang Coal, Australia Limited, ticker code YAL, in the coal space. And you can see we're retesting a resistance that we last hit back here in March. Uh, so this 625 level looks quite significant. Now you'll see this other line above here. Uh, this is taken from the weekly chart. Uh, and we see this as a potential next stage to the upside where it could pause. Uh, so that would be a very respectable 5.8%. Um, there is potential for it to move higher from there, of course, in the medium term. But that would be our short-term potential trade. In the FX world, a little bit of yen weakness again today. I put on the Aussie yen on the four-hourly chart. You can see this has been trading in between uh, this 104.05 level and 104.39. It's tested this already in Asian trading today. If we uh, look, however, it's just after a strong start has just pulled back. So we're looking for a move over 104.45 on this uh, for a potential long entry. Now, it's not beyond the realms of possibility it keeps dropping. So we are going to keep an eye also uh, on this 104 level. A breach of that could see it sell possibly around about 30 to 35 pips also trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now